This is 2 Ezra chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Matter of fact, let me start up. So lock you for that. 2 Ezra chapter 5 verse 1. Nevertheless, it's concerning the tokens. When you go into tokens, it means the signs, meaning the, the prophecies. The prophecies, behold, that they shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be bearing of faith. That's going into, um, you know, the book of Amos chapter 8. talks about how um, a famine of, not um, bread, but of hearing the word of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. Verse 2, but iniquity shall increase. Be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. And it's a precept of that in Matthew chapter 24. Because iniquity is sin upon sin, and this place is the most sinful place on the planet. It's probably more sinful than kingdoms that came before it. That's why it's going to get the greatest destruction than any kingdom before it. I'm skipping back to verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall check their places. We, I remember um, a few years back, you had mountain um, lions in California that literally uh, normally only be in the mountains because California has mountains, but they were actually to be in like going through, you know, the backyards of, of, of um, you know, different residents and whatnot of different cities in California. You know, mountain lions are actually solitary animals, but they were hunting in packs like wolves. So this is the Lord stirring up this, you know, it talks about in the book of Psalms, chapter 119, about how the Lord will work a work, you know, because they have made void thy law. Because of the sins, you know, the iniquities. It says, um, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mysterious women shall bring forth monsters. Skipping to verse 10, um, and it says, and shall be sought of many, because they can be seeking for the truth. But like I said, Amos 8 and 11 says, um, it's going to be a famine for the word of the Most High, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and inconsistency be multiplied upon the earth. And when you go into inconsistency, inconsistency, it means it's, it's basically lawlessness. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Lawyum like Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwaf and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad and in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. This is Brother Yahweh Sapa of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, come that you wouldn't know us through the spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Shalakia, and I'm coming at you with another lesson. Um, so basically, I came across this article. Um, that's not it. This article that was going into, um, well, that might have been it. That might have been it. Um, basically, um, showing you the stage and the times we in, you know, it's, scriptures talk about that's a prophecy that Yahweh made about you'll know the signs of the times and when the end was coming because, you know, basically it'd be lawlessness, sin would be reaching upon the heavens. It'd be so much sin out here. And then on top of all of that, um, you know, um, you know, people would be more violent there because the love of many should wax go. So, um. I think this a couple days ago it says watch video shows man strangling woman with a shoelace at Miami Airport bus stop. Um, it says this is January seventh, Friday, January seventh, twenty twenty, twenty twenty two. An attack captured on surveillance video shows a man strangling woman with a shoelace at a Miami International Airport bus stop as she flight fights for her life and another man comes to the rescue. Miami Dade police says the man behind Sunday attack is Arian Quinos Quinn. The news. The 27-year-old charged with attempted murder. Damn. Yeah, because he, he did try to kill her. <laughs> but that's just showing the spirit that's about to be out here. And it tells you in the book of um, Sirach chapter 39, there are spirits created for vengeance. 
There's a lot of judgment going on in the world, and the Lord is behind all that. It tells you in the scriptures, the book of Psalms, that the Lord, well, no, I don't think that's Psalms. I think that's, um, it talks about the Most High God judges every day, you know, judges the wicked every day. Miami Day police say the man behind Sunday's attack is, and it said Miami Day County Jail on $250,000 bond after being arrested later that day. Police didn't release the name of the 26-year-old woman nor her condition. The video widely shared on popular Instagram page only in days shows a dramatic 46 seconds of violence and heroism. And it wasn't very much heroism because, you know, I'm sure that woman was fucked up. He was beating the shit out of that woman. He down there tried to kill her, and that was the spirit that she could up out of there. You know, everything was through the spirit. You know, you got to understand. If somebody dies through the spirit. Somebody lives it's through the spirit. But... You know, and then you got to understand that that guy with the heroism didn't like apprehend him. He wasn't saved. They, they said the police caught that guy later on. It says near where Mer airport riders pick up their reading cars. Miami Dade County refused to release the video to the Miami Herald. Okay, we've seen all that. So they trying to make this more. It says, we will vigorously defend Mr. Quinnell's in the court. Richard DeMaria, executive chief assistant with the public defender's office, said Wednesday via email. Which, that's funny. Because you got to understand that that work. I mean, you know, the same system that you action to exonerate you is the same system that's trying to lock you up. So, you know, you go into public defenders and all that. But the point being, I brought this video up and this article because of the fact this is the time we coming in, you know, the love of many show white skulls. So I'm going to get the scripture because that's part of a prophecy. Yeah, I was shot, man. I don't know if I got time to read the whole thing because I'm on 2%. percent trying to do this video before it shuts down. Even if I just do the video and don't upload it right now. And I'm using Blue Letter because Blue Letter can go into the words and whatnot. It says Blue Letter. This is Matthew 24 and verse... Um, I'm going to start at verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So, you know, when you see red letters, that's, of course, it's Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you ignorantly call it, Jesus Christ speaking. Our Lord and Savior, who was a man of, you know, melanin, a brown-skinned, dark-complected man. Not a pale hair, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he said, you know, one of the tokens and signs of the end of the world was going to be wars and rumors of wars. It was going to be... Um, Nations against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, famines, pestilences, earthquakes, which you've seen all of these things. And he said, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Verse 9, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And that's what that persecution coming in. And you read Revelation 12 and 12, it talks about them coming out with great wrath because they know they have but a short time. You know, they paint a picture in their media to make it and deem the men that speak in truth as the um, aggressors and the, the corporates of some shit that they creating on their own. But this ultimately is a test from Yahweh Shimei Shai to test your faith. You know, at the end of the day, you got to be uh, counted all joy. You know, I think that's in John 16, I think, because at the end of the day, you know, the Most High had our big brother, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, overcome the world. And if we are a part of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, we can do it as well. Verse, um, 10, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And I was just listening to the elder Manakta Zakba from South Carolina. He was saying that we about to come in times. This is not about to be easy, an easy road. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's why it says to count the cost of what you're getting into because you got to understand. It's been hard. Brothers going through the different chastisements and pain and whatnot. But you ain't even seen what you about to see because, you know, things are about to even look. This is the year of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah Shah This is the year of Yahweh Shah Shimiyahu Shah turning up. That's what the elder deemed this year. So you about to see everything like magnify. As far as the afflictions, as far as the person, you know everything. You know, I'm, the year started. My, I, I went through a, <laughs> a bunch of tribulation, and then they also like strike my channel for a video I did last year. I mean, like the year previous, I think 2020 or something. 
So, you know, this is all set up through Yahweh Shem Yahshah. You know, and you're going to have men and women betray one another because they haven't experienced the persecution. You know, you about to see if you're really a spiritual person or if you're carnal. It says, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. They was talking about wrapped the news. He, he passed away because the Lord judged him. And because iniquity shall abound, meaning sin upon sin, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what you saw when that man tried to strangle that man. Bear with me for a second. So with all that being said, um, you know, this is a year of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha turning up. So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, similar Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the laws, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha, or you will be destroyed. With that, I want to give all presence, all honor, and all glory to call Allah, you know, Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rechakotas Pata, the water to the apostles and elders for giving me this truth. And Shalom to the Akim and the Aqua, listen and learn. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, shalom, and my wife, Shalom.